This is Harbor Freight Kayak Trailer Part 2. So we got the two 2 inch PVC pipes sitting inside the larger ones. You guys, if you haven't checked it out already, check out part one of the trailer build where I talk about these PVC pipes. I could probably fit three inch PVC pipe in here, but I'm not sure that it's gonna be necessary, so I'm just going with some smaller stuff. Um, but this gives you a general idea of what you can do. Um, <clears throat> right now I'm gonna cut this piece here off two inch PVC pipe to fit in between here. And then we're gonna put some elbow braces on. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. So I cut the pipe, I end up putting primer and cement on the pipes, put the elbows on, and... Okay, so we applied the cement to the primered areas, and now I'm putting some cement in here. And I already put primer on this, so... So what we would do is when we were uh, transporting this, we would have a strap wrapped around here and to the frame just to hold this in place. But this acts as kind of a handle and we simply grab the bunk. And we leave about maybe six to eight inches inside the tubes and then we kind of rest it down. We then can walk over to the kayak, grab it by the handle. It might even be easier if you have like some type of uh, rope that can clip onto your handles or something. Um, but drop it down onto the bunks. And it just slides so smooth. The benefit of this is I don't have to put my trailer in the water anymore. And there's some areas where I don't feel comfortable trying to roll my trailer to get close enough to the water because I'm afraid I might not get it back out. Um, some terrains are uneven. Um, it's just a headache. So this bunk system allows me to go over obstacles that might be in my way of the trailer. It also allows me to have the trailer stay out of the water so it doesn't rust and it actually prolongs the life of the trailer. So you saw how I made this setup here, this Harbor Freight setup. I ended up making this in part one video that I uploaded earlier. This is part two where we have the telescoping bunk feature. I wanna make a note that I had a viewer named The Chad and he was the one that made this recommendation after watching my video part one. Um, I was discussing the plans kind of for it, discussing certain things, and he's like, how about you try this? And so I told him I would, and I would give him feedback on how I think it works. And to be honest, after trying this out multiple times here, uh, I think it's going to be actually very useful. Um, it'll be interesting on whether or not it's useful for this. Um, just because these outriggers are kind of a pain um, to figure out how to get them on the trailer easily. Uh, it just doesn't provide a well-balanced uh, setup for sliding on and off the, the trailer. It wants to teeter-totter a little bit. So for any other kayak like this, a, uh, a Hobie Pro Angler, any other large kayak, I think this setup's awesome. So pretty excited about it. Um, you'll notice I don't have anything holding this into here. All I do is I have just a little bit of it staying inside the tube and that's enough to allow the pressure to be transferred to these and to hold it in place. There is a little bit of flex here, but they still feel quite solid. So as I was saying earlier, I really want to have a rope, I think, attached to this because I think it will make it a lot easier. Okay, so with a rope attached to the bow, it's very easy to get your kayak back on the trailer.
simply pull. And with very little effort, I'm able to lift the Abaco 135. Back onto it, the trailer. So this here is, actually has three seating positions. It's very large, a lot of plastic here, um, but pretty effortlessly I can lift it back onto the, the trailer using the telescoping bunk setup. Um, if I use the same rope, I can run it this way. So that's the end of part two. If you haven't already, go check out part one uh, and possibly in the near future, check out part three. Uh, but this is a shout out to YouTuber The Chad for coming up with this great suggestion.